What's going on guys? So I am still out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center. And yeah, you need to check out the videos we've done out here because just look at all these really awesome, true off-road rated RVs. And super cool, most of these are relatively light. Some of them get a little heavy for a half ton truck, but for the most part, these are all pretty much half ton towable except for a couple of them when fully loaded. That said, the one brand that I've been really excited to film, besides the one that they have in there called the Romer One, is the one that they have a label for right there, and that is Patriot Campers. Why? Because anybody you talk to says, if you want the most extreme, badass, towable RV that can go anywhere on the planet, you gotta look at Patriot. Australian built, Australian brand. Um, a lot of experience running these things through crazy, crazy, crazy off-road terrain scenarios. And even here in the States, because of ROA off-road. These guys have tested these things to their extreme too. We got one right here, and we got one right here. And then we have our friend right here. So this is Josh. He Hello. is with ROA off-road. Uh, he is the guru of the Patriot. That's right. So I'm gonna ask if he can uh, replicate an Australian accent while he goes around this tour with me. That'll be really nice. I, I can't, but uh, it has been really fun talking with them to hear the different uh, phrases that they use and terminologies. It's It's been really fun. Absolutely. Well guys, we're gonna do a deep dive in this thing. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, Josh. You take us through this Patriot Campers RV, and then we'll see another one in another video, but show us all the wonderful features that go into these things. Okay, um, I guess I would start with contacts on the on the trailers, if that's okay. Please, please. Um, just last week, I met with a gentleman, um, Arctech is a, they're a clothing brand. Okay. And he was saying, look, I, when I like to buy, I like to buy the very best, the highest quality, the best warranty. Um, I care a lot about quality. If you had a trailer that you guys could say is in that kind of criteria where it is the highest quality possible, you know, what would it be? And I think we would all agree that it's Patriot. Okay. Um, they are without question the most um, high quality trailer that we've ever seen. So can you quantify that a little bit? Give us examples of what what specifically they do better that gives them that type of reputation. Um, I could show you, I mean, I would say like, even just come here to the to the kitchen like area, if you feel the, the, the weight, um, just everything that they do, all of the components are, even, even to the inserts that they have, it's just very plush very very high quality everything that they do is very very precise clean like perfect you know what, what's funny is as you were saying that i was looking at these rivets and i was trying to see if any of the rivets had spacing that was different between one rivet and another rivet and you're right the it's the, the attention to detail and the tolerances look pretty dang amazing yeah so that i mean that is like that is the number one thing that that people are looking for from Patriot is they know that it's considered to be the most high quality presti prestigious off-road trailer in its size on in the world really Great. so but I'll get into I just wanted to start with, with that like that is one thing that's really just uh, at the at the forefront of Patriot mm -hmm. is quality right now this particular trailer is the X1. Now, the X1 is really one of their flagship models. That's like the first trailer that they made was the X1. Okay. And uh, what's great about this trailer is that it actually, of all of their trailers, is the easiest, uh, most capable for families uh, because of what we can do with the tent. Now, we'll, I'll go over and I'll show you that, but for Patriots in general, one of the most sought after features of the Patriot campers is right next to you, and that is the kitchen. If we go and you've gone and you've looked at some of the other campers, um, a lot of them have outdoor kitchens, mm -hmm. but nobody does an outdoor kitchen like Patriot. Okay. Nobody. Demonstrate. So this right here is where your stove goes, okay? This right here is where your fridge goes, and you've got a sink right here. If you can imagine, 
We have a spice rack right here. I can have food all in here and in here. Everything that I need for cooking all at my within arm's reach and plenty of counter space while being underneath an awning. Okay. And I can have a walls kit that surrounds us. That would have been nice today to protect mm -hmm. us from the wind and the cold. But I can be cooking. I can be cutting stuff up here. I can go in here. I need to grab some more stuff from the fridge. And then I have some additional counter space here. If I need to rinse something off, it's, it's ergonomically the yeah. feng shui is strong. And kind of residential in terms of layout. A very L-shaped layout to yes. it. Yes. Yes. So for those people who prioritize an outdoor kitchen, often this is where we're talking. You know, they have a small tow vehicle, Jeep, probably 90 plus percent of our Patriot owners are Jeep owners. Um, but for those that prioritize having an, they love cooking outside. A lot of them are going to gravitate to a Patriot because there's nobody that offers this. A lot of the outdoor kitchens that you looked at, yeah, it's a slide out, and that's everything, and that's it. Yep. Right. This, it's it's kind of just got. It's a lot more happening right yeah. here for your kitchen. Let me pan out so you can kind of see a wider angle view. Yeah. Of everything going on. So that is really one of the the crowning features obviously the off-road capability the suspension the build those are all things those are all really really important obviously um but the kitchen that's right at the top for a lot of patriot owners those people that love to cook outside and want to have the best outdoor kitchen possible got it so um another thing that's really awesome is their storage you can see here now i talked to a lot of overlanders and they have their forerunner packed to the i mean just the gills i mean the, it's just packed or their jeep and they say look i gotta get a trailer because i need some extra space for my stuff mm -hmm. and the patriot has so much storage if you can see here i'll just take this out here but you can see this is a massive yeah massive, it's a huge bag well in here this storage area yeah right it it's enormous and then in addition to that, we have this guy right here. So it's customizable storage area with these shelves that you can set up however you want. Um, we have a massive storage area here. And then in the front and on the sides, we have more storage. So that's something that a lot of our Overland community members are looking for is they just don't have enough space mm -hmm. in their tow vehicle and they need a, a, a way to expand that. Got it. Now, this right here, um, this is our sleeping area inside of the X1. And this right here, what we're standing in, is the annex, which is unique to the X1 because it's the only unit that you open up with the annex already built in. The X1H, you have to add it on uh, but the X1 has it built in here right away. So automatically I can close that off and I can have a reprieve from the the wind, yeah. uh, the sun, you know, whatever. And it's just this really nice area in here. These are really nice mattresses. Um, you're up and off of the ground so you don't have to worry about all the condensation yeah. from the ground coming up, getting you all wet, which is really nice. Um, it's got windows all the way around. So if you want to have those open, you can. You've got windows on each of the sides mm -hmm. and over there. Yeah. And then, like I said, you've got storage in here and storage over here that you have access to. That's very cool. Could you open that storage up? Yeah. I'd love to kind of see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a good amount of storage, too. Yeah. And like, and I'll, I'll open it up, but right next to it is another massive storage area. Wow, that is super cool. And that's a 1500 watt inverter. I'll close this up. So it's all really good design. They make it so that you have access to everything from within your camper. Australian made and owned. Oh yeah, another huge storage with yep. a sliding tray. Yep, that's one of the upgrades that they offer is that sliding tray. That is super nice. So, now I told you that the X1 is also um, 
the best for families. And the reason why is because right here is where we zip on um, the family room or the kids okay. room. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that extends, you know, really out to about right here. So it's a really big addition onto this camper. So you can easily sleep four adults or three kids in here, four adults, you know, two in the bed and two down here. But it's a great way to have a small camper to sleep a good sized family. Okay, no, that's awesome. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong here, um, because I know you said people gravitate towards this because of the kitchen, because of the quality, because of what they've done, yes. the storage. Um, this is what I would consider to be a very, very nice Australian version of a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Very small, but it expands out to do a lot of different things. Yes. Um, but I don't necessarily think, just based off what I've seen, that this really competes directly against something like a pause or one of these explorer units that is a fully enclosed. This is yeah. kind of a this is a step up in a big way from tent, or tent camping yes. or roughing it or going to your typical teardrop. But again, this is a very specific buyer, yes. right? We're not talking about the the family that typically goes in to buy a hard wall, you know, camper. Yeah. I would say that the distinguishing factor is what are you towing it with? Gotcha. So when you have a Jeep, you can't tow an 8,000 pound trailer or a 6,000 pound or a 5,000 or even a 4,000. Yep. You need the most that weighs the least. Yes. And that's what Patriot has done in spades is they've capitalized on what can we do at the lowest amount of weight to get you the absolute most out of a camper. Gotcha. And another example is going to be in this front area. Right? Oh, wow. So this is their diesel hot water heater. This is a swing away that you can have a barbecue on. I'll actually show you one right next to us. But the there is no square inch yeah. not used on this trailer. Yep. Uh, Propane goes here. Yeah, it's amazing how much they've done with such little space. And that, I would say, you're right. And that's why if you have a larger tow vehicle, you might want a bigger trailer. Mm -hmm. But if you have that small tow vehicle like a, a, a Jeep and you're wanting to have unlimited off-road capability, this yep. is the direction you're going. And we were ranking RVs yesterday and even this morning in terms of zero through 10 or one through 10, one being, you know, what you'd typically pick up at an RV dealership that sells Jayco or yeah. Forest River products, 10 being the most extreme off-road capable RV that you can buy. And I think this one is what what everyone kind of universally points to as a 10. 100%. I don't, there's, there would be no other trailer that someone could point to that would classify a Patriot being less. Gotcha. It just doesn't exist. So what about the suspension? We didn't talk much about that. Yeah. So the suspension is, is really cool. They've partnered with Cruise Master, okay. which has an incredible reputation to get their own suspension made just for Patriot. It's the X Cruise suspension just for Patriot and their campers. Okay. Which is really unique and really cool because uh, a lot of people are now starting to get into um, Cruise Master suspension, bringing it to the United States. Mm -hmm. But very few people, and I don't know if anyone else, has their own suspension from Cruise Master just yep. for them. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Yeah. Okay, so we are under here taking a look at it. Yep. I so, see airbags, I see shocks. And you can see it's beautiful. Absolutely. It just is absolutely beautiful. So uh, once again, this is their X Cruise suspension, which is just for Patriot. This is a Cruise Master manufacturer and brand that makes it. Uh, it's got airbags on each side, so we can use that for leveling purposes. But also for off-road, sometimes there's obstacles that you just need a few more inches. Yeah. And that's one of the benefits you have with airbags is like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be scraping here. This is a really tough obstacle. I'm going to go ahead and lift those airbags a little bit, maybe two inches on each side so I can clear that obstacle. Very so cool. that's, that's the suspension right there. But it is, it's incredibly functional. It's powerful and um, very reliable. I love the two inch receiver you got back here too. Yeah. Just the overall look too. It has a very well-built industrial look to it. Very clean, like you said. Yeah. Love the LED lights, the reflectors on it. Just beautiful. 
Beautiful. Super cool. So let's talk a little bit about price. What can you expect to pay for? This is the X1 you said, right? Yeah, the X1 really is going to be typically between uh, somewhere around fifty to sixty thousand. Oh, that's depending, actually a little less than I thought. Yeah, depending on how it's uh, on how it's built, there's a lot of upgrades that are available. So it depends on how you build it. Um, and then next to us, we have the X3, and that's typically going to be in the sixty to seventy thousand dollar range. Okay. Well, we're going to do another video on that one. So uh, definitely appreciate it, guys. You know, you need to check out their YouTube channel. It's it's ROA Off Road and or RV of America, RVs of America, yeah. and they will show you this stuff in action, like actually you using this stuff, which is, I think the more educational way of learning about it is actually seeing folks take these things out and use them in crazy, crazy conditions. So definitely check them out. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, now's a great time to subscribe to the channel because we're gonna show you the X3 Patriot in the next video. Once again, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.